Hey everyone, um, weekly video, I know I've been out of commission for a little bit, been too sick to make these, but let's get into it. We'll go over the usual Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then a few other strong coins that I'm currently looking at. So let's start with Bitcoin. Um, same old summer chop, we're in a range that we can't get away from. Um, you know, if, if you guys have been following me, <coughs> told you to short. 3400 and 3100 over the weekend. We got both of them. Let's remove those for now. I'm actually going to leave the 3400 because this is a pretty um, important kind of mid range line. But um, range play, right? We're, we filled our longs um, that I called around. 29,100. It was a two-hour demand zone. This blue box here, uh, we hit TP1 perfectly. If you came to my stream, the mentions I mentioned that uh, 29,600, 29,800 was pretty strong resistance. Uh, it's a supply zone here. We barely tapped it. Haven't hit it yet, but I expect rejection around 29,800-ish again. Um, this four-hour that we had with this giant wick. Right, we, we went straight into resistance. So what I'm currently looking at is um, no longs until we are able to reclaim this range. Okay, so we this was previous swing lows, right? So we rejected from it, closed below, and w in order to, I'm going to remove this really quickly, but in order to get long, we want to see this range low reclaimed, okay, and go higher. Um, I want closes above here, not closes down here, and that level is 29,500. Okay, so close above, then we can target 30,400 again. Um, and if we get back into this range, as I mentioned in in previous videos and, and uh, analysis, that I expect summer to be boring chop. Um, volatility will be low. It's been at all time lows. People are trading on chain more than actual. Um, you know, coins on centralized exchanges. So longs should not be taken unless we reclaim this level or lower, and I will cover that as well. But if we do reclaim the range, expect rejection or a quick short scalp from the supply zone here. Um, it's going to be very quick. You're looking for like a percent to half a percent move if you're a scalper. Otherwise, the the main level comes around 30,400, okay? So we've had rejections here, unable to flip this to support. Flip this, okay? Then we're going to target this uh, 31,000 to 31,300 ish. We have a demand, uh, supply zone here as well. I'm looking to short that with stops above local highs, okay? Now, the, the stop is going to be a soft stop loss because we can easily wick above and then close back down right deviate back under into this range swing failure this high here so that's what I'm looking for so my stop loss is going to be soft right uh, meaning I'm not gonna place it if we go above um, I'm looking for an acceptance above this 31,500 level and I will manually close my my short out otherwise I'm keeping the short I know I have a hard or it says you know 31,800 but it's a soft stop loss meaning if we go over it I will look for price action development to see if we close above this level and then I will close it out so this will be more for someone who is low leverage and not going to be 200 xing anything so again if you're gonna take this trade with this short setup Please note that this is going to be a soft stop loss, and I'm not going to update that stop, lo uh, stop loss hit. I will only update if I close it once this level is accepted. Okay. Um, so that's the two areas of short that I'm looking for. I'm not taking the supply zone here. I'm looking for uh, rejection here. But please note we've had multiple rejections at this level, about three here. So it's getting weaker and weaker. And I expect a move up into the supply zone here. So for now, no longs until this level is reclaimed or one sec or this level here. Okay, so I'm looking for Monday's lows to be swept back into 28. Um, for six, 28 500 ish to 28 um, 200 ish. I'm looking basically for this level to be retested 
it was uh, previous range highs that we deviated above, right, and then closed back down. And I mentioned in Discord um, that this level is, is its key, okay? And if we are to lose this level and turn into resistance as we did here, we're going to go much lower. So I'm looking for a sweep of Monday's lows into this area. I will long, okay? And if we are able to reclaim Monday's lows, and turn it into support, I will add to my longs and target 32K, right? I know I gave a short setup around 31. Hopefully this happens before. We can hedge with our with our shorts up there. It's gonna be a risk-free trade both ways, and then we just play the range over and over again, okay? So um, on top of that, I did give a detailed analysis on this here. Where is it? Okay, so let me get rid of these lines and go over it again. All right, so as we know, we've been making higher highs, higher lows, okay? On a macro level, I am bullish until this level here is lost. Once we lose this level, we have made a lower low, and that... that signifies a change in market structure and then we should go lower we're kind of making a rising wedge pattern right but notice and i've talked about this um for a few times now but this fractal is kind of playing out okay and why i say 29800 is a very important level it's actually going to be a bearish retest of uh, this resistance. Notice that we went above, deviated, came back down, turned into resistance, then dumped, okay? We came back above, flipped it to support, lost it. Now we're looking to see if we are, if we come back and retest this bearish, or turn this uh, into resistance again, and then go back down. If this happens, right, we're going to be looking at that, and this blue box here is where I want to get long, at least for a scalp, right? If that doesn't hold, then we are going back down to 27,400-ish, 27,500-ish, and that should hold, right? Because uh, at that point, it's going to be another retest of this bottom trend line that we've been holding since uh, mid-November. And if we lose that, then we're going to test these lows here. And are we going to be putting in a triple bottom? We'll see at that point. But if we do, that's a long that I'm going to be taking. The max that I see us going is 32,500-ish um, to 33K. Now, this would be the top of the trend line once more, and we've been rejecting from it ever since, but I, on my YouTube, I do give a detailed macro analysis on Bitcoin, so I, I won't go over that again, but give that a watch. Um, but that's the macro analysis for Bitcoin in, in, in a short, summarized way. And that's what I'm looking at. So I gave you two setups for Bitcoin, the short and the long setup. Uh, currently in the long that I gave from a few days ago. And TP1 hit, so the, the trade is risk-free. Um, the other thing I want to take a look at is ETH. All right. So... I gave this in stream. I said if it breaks down from the trend line, you're looking to short with stops above there. It did break down, did go down pretty, uh, pretty nicely. This setup is no longer valid, so let me go ahead and delete it. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for um, if we do have a nice retrace. ETH has been holding pretty well. I'm looking for a uh, touch in this four-hour. Let me show you where I get that box from. This four-hour demand zone, okay? So it might get front run if, as, as days go by. We're going to front run by the, the um, trend line. But if we, if we see a wick into here, that's where I'm looking too long. That level is going to be, um, I actually gave it a front run here. So 1764. Okay, and my DCA is going to be 1714 with my stop loss around 1678. Now I'm looking for this to be a swing trade up to 20, uh, 2200. Now 2200 might not come, and I'm going to show you why that is. But that's the setup. I know these are number; these numbers are completely different. Spot versus perp charts are a little bit we uh, different. So 1764 is where I will enter a long for um, ETH with my DCA at 1714. 
okay? And then I'm, I'm targeting much higher. Now, for ETH, keep an eye out on this. Let me remove these levels so you see. Sorry, I had a detailed analysis with someone earlier. Okay, so we see that we have daily support here around 1830-ish, okay? And it's been holding ever since, but lose that. And we could be putting in a minor head and shoulders. Now, I don't like playing this pattern. It's a meme pattern, but lose this, turn into resistance. The technical target of this is going to be Uh, 1630 ish I don't expect a deep retrace as such but if we do it's a buy opportunity do I think the bottom is in um, as far as macro again I've said this before 15k is our bottom line I don't think we go below that um, you know I do think we can possibly retest 20 and then 18k um, you know but don't short to that level you're playing confirmations and if we do go back to 20k and sub 20k Honestly, buy level, hold spot, and hold it for a while. I'm looking to get in from 23k down to 18k and just hold. Um, I'm already in from 15 and 16k, so I'm just adding to my positions. But keep an eye out on the 1835 level because if we lose that and turn to resistance, which would also be in confluence with this trend line that we're going to lose. Right then, we should go into my long level around 1764. I expect that to hold. And then we just go higher, right? So that's ETH for us. Now, in terms of shorts, I'm going to clean this and give you guys a nice detailed outline of this. Okay. Let's do this. Actually, let's make it a little clean. Let's go on the four hour. Let's do. All right. So this was previous range highs. And here are your range lows. OK. Let's give it a number. Right, so range high, range low, okay, and there are a whole like this is the demand zone that I wanted to get into. That's where I plan on bidding. I'm going to front run that or at 1764, like I mentioned. So let's do that. Now, previous range highs, we had a deviation and got back within the range, okay, so you know. Just like Bitcoin, the range has been proven to be pretty profitable if you're playing it. Short range highs, long range lows, and you know deviations have been holding well. Um, there is a trend line here. Okay, so is range low going to hold again? Yes, I would love a deep wick into that demand zone. Okay, take out the range lows here, sweep all this liquidity, and then get long. I have limit bids here, but if you're looking for a confirmation and these bids don't get filled, right, if we take this liquidity, put a swing failure pattern, uh, reclaim it and close above this, that's your market long with your stops below the wick that's going to be created. Hasn't happened yet, so I can't give you the stop loss placement. But I'm looking to short this back down to range lows. So just like Bitcoin, and I'll go to it so we see it side by side, right? And let's move this here. Okay, so just like Bitcoin, we had previous swing high that we took it out and deviated back below. Swing failure here. This was also a swing failure on the daily. If I go back on the daily, right, we see a swing failure. Took out liquidity, closed below. I'm looking for the same thing here. 
And usually when you are playing swing failures, a retest of previous swing highs will provide a nice rejection point. And that's what we're going for here. Uh, previous swing high, also range high. We're going to short it with stops above local highs, which is around 20,035. Um, and we're just going to play the range. We're not going to oversimplify it or we are going to simplify it, we're not going to overcomplicate stuff. So we're going to uh, short range highs around 1977. We'll scale to about 2000, and it's about 3% risk, right? And we're going to short down to range lows. We'll take profits within the range at support levels, and we're just going to do as such. So hopefully we get a wick down here, cause a deviation, reclaim and go up. And we're going to short range highs with stops above um, wicks and back to range lows. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with ETH. That's the full analysis on ETH as well. Um, the next coin that I'm taking a look at is going to be Sol. So I gave this in the Discord, right? I'm looking for a retest of this deviation point. We did break down, deviated, reclaimed this level, and then went higher. This was also a breakout point of this. Um, falling wedge, right? So a retest here in the DCA point was 22, uh, sorry, 23.42, which should be, if we draw this trend line out, which should be around the um, retest of this trend line, okay? This was a previous breakout point. We haven't actually flipped it to support yet. Um, like, see how we broke out here, flipped it to support? This one actually hasn't been tested, so it's an SR region. That's why I'm bidding that area, because if we lose that, honestly, we're going to go to this demand zone here, in my opinion. Okay, so from 22.5 down to 20, that's going to be tested if we lose that area. So I'm going to bid... That, and I told you this one, is gonna, I'm going to go in with uh, half of my normal position because it's pretty risky. Um, and I'm just hoping to go higher from there, right? So um, I'm taking this trade. I'm in the uh, Bitcoin long trade and an injective, and I'll go over that as well. But for Seoul, I'm not looking to short strength. Um, but if I was looking to short, then I'd probably be looking to short here. Now, target for falling wedge. <clears throat> is going to be basically to this resistance, technical target. So if we're looking to short, we have this order block. And honestly, it's the risk is too high. Um, probably started a little bit higher. So around 28, and we're going to place our stops around 29 to 7, and we're going to just short it back down to here. Now, this could easily keep running. We have continued to make um, higher highs and higher lows. We haven't lost market structure yet. If we lose here, we made a lower low. So again, this is a very important level from 22.5 down to 20. Uh, lose that, and close below, then we're looking to short because at that point we have lost market structure. Okay. That's it for Seoul. Um, I haven't given the Seoul short yet. I'm still deciding, but that would be the setup that I'll be looking for. The long has been given. Uh, the next coin that I'm looking at and it currently in is Injective. This is the setup that I gave to the Discord. Right, we have a giant cup. Now, we have we lost the trend line, but actually retesting it right now. I was long from eight dollars and thirteen cents. We almost hit stop loss. Haven't hit it yet. Um, Inject has been holding pretty well. Now, if we are able to reclaim this here, uh, eight dollars and twenty four cents, or uh, reclaim the trend line, we should go higher. All right, we hit the demand zone, and we actually bounce from it. Um, this is a must-hold region. Otherwise, we're putting in a head and shoulders. Right? So I'm not looking to lose this area. 
but if we do lose it, I mean, I'm, I'm going to hold until my validation point, but I'm looking for a move into this supply zone here around $8.60, which should provide a nice 6% move on leveraged. And then at that point, um, you know, I, I'm taking to, I'm going to move my stop loss to break even. But if we take a look at this on a lower time frame here, One sec. So on a lower time frame, we have a cup and handle. Right? Let's make it blue so we see. I'm going to remove, actually, we'll keep it. So we have a cup, we have a handle. Right now, if you're looking to long, you would look to long the reclaim of this resistance. Hasn't happened yet, um, but this cup and handle should provide us with, you know, again technical targets as we speak. To eight dollars and forty cents. My first TP for this long that I gave in the Discord uh, is eight dollars and forty cents. Or sorry, eight dollars and thirty cents. So. I'm looking for that to happen. Inject has been holding pretty well. Um, it actually, you know, Bitcoin's been within this $300 range for the past day or day or so. Um, although this almost went down to stop loss, it's, it's pumped pretty back up and almost break even for me. So I'm still holding and I'm holding until invalidation. But low time frame, this should go to about $8.40. If Bitcoin can consolidate here, we should see that move up. All right. So injective looks good to me. Um, lose this level and turn it into resistance then we're going to short down to seven dollars and thirty two cents okay so this point here hasn't happened yet i'm still waiting um injective again looks good if you're not in i wouldn't take the setup again it's already risky i've been in this trade for about four days or what thursday thursday it's about three days now um, a lot of impatient people are freaking out. And again, if you can't handle red, right, you're overpositioned to begin with, and you shouldn't be trading leverage. And if you are, um, you know, reduce and go lower leverage. Okay, so I've been in this trade for a while. I'm a swing trader. Red doesn't bother me. I love the color of blood. Um, but yeah, so injective looks good. I'm not looking to short this. I'm not looking to short anything, to be honest, until market structure is broken on a lower time frame. Um, the next coin that looks really good is actually uh, OP, Optimism. Um, this dumped and is almost back to its pre-dump levels. I mean, I don't... This resistance here, I don't expect to um, reject again. I mean, that we have a, a bullish engulfing daily candle. Okay, we have it's been rejecting off this trend line. I expect it to actually move up, um, so I am long on optimism. And you know, if you do want to take this long, go ahead. Um, I haven't given Discord. I was a personal long, and I'm looking for a move up to about two dollars. So basically, this supply zone here. Um, and I mean, I have TPs as well. That's going to be my first TP, second TP, and hopefully higher. But the reason why I like this coin on a lower time frame is just like injective. We have a cup and handle here, right? We have a cup. Now the handle is way too low, so I won't call it a, a, a handle here, but there we go. We have a cup and handle on the hour. Here is your cup. Here is your handle. The handle is usually a bull, uh, bull flag. Now technical targets for this, base of the cup to the neckline, so $1.64, okay? Um, if 
you're getting, if you want to get into a long here, wait for the flip to happen. Otherwise, you could long the support at one dollar and fifty-one cents. Let me cleanly draw that. Oops, it's been holding. But personally, I'm long, and I'm looking for a, a move up to like again dollar sixty, dollar sixty-four. I don't expect this to hold much longer. Um, another strong coin is Link. Now, I gave this yesterday, right? It was previous range highs that we actually hadn't flipped to support. Okay, here's the breakout candle. We flipped it to support there, and that was your long trigger, right? That's how you play confirmations. But Link has been holding pretty strong. We do have a four hour demand zone here. And we haven't lost market structure. We are making higher highs, higher lows. Okay. Um, the next touch, I mean, I would love to get it around $7 again. I don't think we will for now. But maybe a move into this demand zone and higher. I am not ruling out a move down. Um, I would get into spot here, and I think we can test these highs again. Um, Again, it would be another uh, lower high, and then we move up higher. So I'm looking to possibly scalp this. And stop loss placement is going to be a little tough here. And I will get out at range highs. So 780 down to about 761 with my stops around 752 and target higher. All right, if we, if we do have a full breakdown, um, then I'm looking to long $7. And those are the only coins that I'm currently looking at. So, yeah, I hope, um, you know, you guys are still holding my injective long. I do think, you know, if Bitcoin consolidates here, see, it's moving. Uh, if Bitcoin consolidates here, then we could get a nice move up. And that's pretty much it. Thanks everyone for watching.